Welcome to 411carline.com. You can find us at 411carline.com. On our website, you'll find pricing information, vehicle information, more photos, as well as a free Carfax. Click the Carfax Advantage Dealer icon to view the free Carfax. 952-540-9000 is our phone number. Give us a call to ask any questions or to set up an appointment. We are by appointment only, so please do call in advance. We appreciate that. All of our vehicles go to third-party shops for inspections. Safety mechanical and road test inspections are performed. We do whatever safety mechanical and maintenance uh, repairs the shop recommends that we bring it to. You're welcome to have it inspected prior to buying it as well. Just ask us about our policy on that. Lastly, aftermarket warranties are available on all vehicles, no matter the year, make, model, or miles. Ask us about those or it will be stapled to the Carfax when you come in. This here is a 2005 GMC Yukon Denali. This, in my opinion, is the best generation of truck ever made. Um, these things will go three to 400,000 miles with regular maintenance. Problem with the Midwest is these things usually rust out before they get there um, or have rusty brake lines, fuel lines, all kinds of stuff. This one, however, is a California truck. Uh, we shipped it here from California. It has never seen road salt. Um, so, and you can see that on the Carfax, as I mentioned on our website. We'll start in the front here. We'll go over the overall condition. I'll do a walk around, show you the underside. I'll start it up at the end here. So, um, front bumper's in pretty good shape, uh, especially for 105,000 miles. It uh, is pretty clean. Headlights are beautifully clear on this one. Grill's in nice shape. No major imperfections that I can see. Hood's in pretty good shape. Couple spots with touch up on the little rock chips and stuff, but there's no major dents, ding, scratches. Walking around this fender, you can see this fender is in beautiful condition. No imperfections, I don't see any dents, ding, scratches there. Uh, wheels are in good shape. No curb rash that I can see. It's got really nice Michelin all season tires on it with great tread depth. They look relatively new. I didn't see them listed on the Carfax, but tread depth looks like it's like new as some people might say um, this uh, door panel is in really nice shape running boards does have moonroof has a roof rack with the cross rails so it's really clean for white um, the paint seems to be in pretty good condition so i'd assume that it was garage kept or carport kept in california it's not baked, so it's nice to see. So, again, tire tread depth's in great condition. Uh, this back quarter is in nice shape as well. This thing is definitely cleaner than other uh, Yukons that we've had, or Suburbans. It does have the tow package with the 7 pin connector. Back bumper's in beautiful shape. The bumper plastic even is in good condition. Um, rear gate here, that's, they didn't clean that very well. That's, will come right off. They didn't clean it very well at detail apparently. So this quarter's in beautiful shape, not a denting scratch. Obviously there's no rust in the wheel wells where you'd usually see rust. This wheel is in good shape. Again, tire tread depth is good, so a super clean Denali. If you're looking for imperfections, the roof rack, you can see a little bit of the aluminum through the paint, but that's pretty marginal. So this fender's in nice shape. This wheel's in good condition as well. And great tre tire tread depth here. So I'll show you the other side here. So this thing is about as rust free as they come for a 2005. It is super clean. Obviously, if you were to get under this thing on a hoist or something, I'm sure you could pick out a spot of a speck of uh, surface rust somewhere, but this thing is clean. Same with the rockers, no rust or anything on the rocker panels. Interior on this one's pretty nice for the miles. Um, it's got the two tone, it's like tan and light tan <laughs> so uh, it's got the cool gray dash which I really like not the wood grain um, tan dash uh, this this generation of GM truck something they used with there's something with the paint that they used sometimes you get like little chips and that sort of thing 
Um, someone could certainly paint the dash. Uh, that's not something I generally have done, but this door panel is in nice shape. You can see it's got bows um, and it has uh, heated leather seats, power windows, power locks, keyless entry. Carpet on this one's in good shape. Most of the time the carpet on these is uh, all stained and stuff for some odd reason. This back door panel is in nice shape. Forgot to show that front driver door on uh, pinch down there, but obviously all the door panels are clean of any rust or anything like that. Um, seat, back seat's in pretty good condition here. It uh, obviously has seen some use, but there's no rips, tears, major damages. This one does have rear heated seats. They're located here. Also has a rear entertainment system, which is factory. Uh, it does turn on. I didn't put a disc in it, but usually when they turn on, they do tend to work. Um, show you into the back side here. This thing is the spare. Still black like they come from the factory. You can see just no rust. So clean. This is something we don't see in Minnesota if you're watching this from out of state. Um, obviously plenty of space back here. I have the that seat flipped up. I'm gonna set the camera down for a second here. seat up so you can see still plenty of space with the seat up show you under this side again super clean there's a little bit of like dirt underneath on this side the detail shop doesn't spray under there but you'd see you can see the uh sticker on the frame right there so Someone sprayed that off. They must have driven down a dirt road or something. Um, that door panel's in nice shape. Again, seat's in nice condition. I'll show you the back seat too. Yeah, back seat's in good shape. This one, uh, you obviously can remove the back seat. You can flip this down. Um, and then that covers and you have this whole space. Um, they are awesome vehicles. That seat obviously folds down just like this one. Driver door panel's in really nice shape on this one. Um, it has uh, obviously heated seats, two position seat memory. Um, power pedals. Uh, power windows, power locks, keyless entry, power mirrors, driver seats in beautiful condition, um, no major damages. Hop in here. Oops, I gotta go shut that back door. What you see is what you get in these YouTube videos, because I don't like edit them or anything so um we'll start it up here so it has 105 853 on it for miles which if you're familiar with these six the six liter oops turn the music down here six liter lq9s they will run for like i said in the beginning three to four hundred thousand miles with regular maintenance um you can see this one has nice strong oil pressure um yeah runs obviously well the uh has this nice pioneer aftermarket head unit does have a backup camera nice clear backup camera my phone kind of distorts it a little bit but does have dual automatic climate control. You can control both zones, the AC and heat, um, which is nice to have. Uh, it also has rear automatic climate control. You can control the rear AC and heat from here. Electrochromatic auto dimming mirror with compass. Home link universal garage door opener. Looks like the moonroof operates as it should. Not gonna open it all the way for time's sake. Um, 
A couple things I noticed, as I mentioned, the dash does have like a little bit of wear spots here and there. Uh, overall, the plastic's in nice shape. There's no cracks or damages. Sometimes you get cracks down this, uh, especially in warmer climates. Uh, this one does have a little bit of wear right here, usually from people going like this and turning the knobs. Um, again, a little bit of wear on the gray around these areas, but all the compartments do work. Uh, not entirely sure if someone replaced these compartments. These are usually gray or if they just removed the gray material that was on them. Um, I see a lot of times uh, people used hand, hand sanitizer a lot during COVID and stuff and then like it accidentally spilled or something and that would take the paint off of this. Not saying that's what happened, but that's what I most often see is something in that case. So it looks like um, somebody had taken that off of there. Not a huge deal. Most people wouldn't notice it. I don't know why I pointed it out, but anyways, center console's in good shape. And here you have a factory, factory owner's manual as well. Uh, this one does have the tow package, as I mentioned. It's got the seven pin connector on the back. Here's the trailer, tow haul mode. Uh, steering wheel's in nice shape. All the buttons are in pretty good condition. There's tiny little bit of wear on that one. Um, I actually have some flat black I'll actually put on that and you won't even really notice it. Um, but overall, they're in pretty good shape. No lights on the dash, because uh, we just had it fully serviced, obviously. Uh, rear wipers here, fog lamps there, headlights there. Uh, this one does have um, power folding mirrors. You can see, fold in as they should, and they fold out as they should. Also has turn signal mirrors. Some people really like that. Obviously then you can see your turn signals on. Although now that I say that, passenger side turn signal indicator does not appear to flash. So we will hop out. I'll show you into the hood here. My phone does pick up small engine valve train noise. So it might sound a little more ticky or noisy than it would be in person. Uh, but this one has no knocks, no ticks, no exhaust leaks. Um, both the rear manifold bolts are still on it. A lot of times in the in the Midwest, they rust off and uh, the back manifold, the bolt breaks off and then they leak a little bit. Um, super clean under here. Obviously, California truck. If you look at like the cylinder head bolts and stuff, that would usually have like a little bit of rust on it. Um, one does not, obviously. It is a very clean truck. Underneath the hood here, usually you get kind of corrosion around this area too, that is nice and clean. Overall, super nice truck. That is the 2005 GMC Yukon Denali XL. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our website, 401carline.com, or give us a call, 952-540-9000. Thanks for your time today. Have a great day.